May our Father, Messiah, and the Holy Spirit be with us. Numbers chapter 1. Our Father in heaven spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the tent of meeting, on the first day of the second month, in the second year after they had came, come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Take a census of the whole congregation of Israelites in their clans by ancestral houses, according to the number of names, every male individually, from 20 years old and upward, every one in Israel able to go to war. You and Aaron shall enroll them company by company. A man from each tribe shall be with you, each man the head of his ancestral house. These are the names of the men who shall assist you. From Reuben, Elizer, son of Shedor, from Simeon, Shalem, Shalumiel, son of Zerushadai, from Judah, Nashon, son of Aminadab, from Issachar, Nathanael, son of Zuar, from Zebulun, Eliab, son of Helon, from the sons of Joseph, from Ephraim, Elishama, son of Amahud, from Manasseh, Gamaliel, son of Pedah. Pedasur, from Benjamin, Abidon, son of Gideonai, from Don, Ahiezer, son of Amishadai, from Asher, Pagiel, son of Akron, from God, Eliasav, son of Deuel, from Naphtali, Ahira, son of Inan. These were the ones chosen from the congregation, the leaders of their ancestral tribes, the heads of the divisions of Israel. Moses and Aaron took these men who had been designated by name, and on the first day of the second month, they assembled the whole congregation together. They registered themselves in their clans by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names from 20 years old and upward, individually, as our Father in heaven commanded Moses. So he enrolled them in the wilderness of Sinai. The descendants of Reuben, Israel's firstborn, their lineage, and their clans by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names, individually, every male from 20 years old upward, everyone able to go to war. Those enrolled of the tribe of Reuben were 46,500. The descendants of Simeon, their lineage, and their clans by their ancestral houses, those of them that were numbered according to the number of names, individually, every male from 20 years old and upward, everyone able to go to war. Those enrolled of the tribes of Simeon were 59,300. The descendants of God, their lineage, and their clans by their ancestral houses, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward, everyone able to go to war. Those enrolled in the tribe of God were 45,650. The descendants of Judah, their lineage, and their clans by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names from 20 years old and upward, everyone able to go to war. Those enrolled of the tribe of Judah were 74,600. The descendants of Issachar, their lineage, and their clans by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names from 20 years old and upward, everyone able to go to war. Those enrolled of the tribe of Issachar were 54,400. The descendants of Zebulun, their lineage and their clans by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names from 20 years old and upward, everyone able to go to war. Those enrolled of the tribe of Zebulun were 57,400. The descendants of Joseph, namely the descendants of Ephraim, their lineage and their clans by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names from 20 years old and upward, everyone able to go to war. Those enrolled of the tribe of Ephraim were 40,500. The descendants of Manasseh, their lineage and their clans by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names from 20 years old and upward, everyone able to go to war. Those enrolled of the tribe of Manasseh were 32,200. 
the descendants of Benjamin, their lineage, and their clans by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names from 20 years old and upward, everyone able to go to war. Those enrolled of the tribe of Benjamin were 35,400. The descendants of Don, their lineage, in their clans by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names from 20 years old and upward, everyone able to go to war. Those enrolled of the tribe of Don were 62,700. The descendants of Asher, their lineage, and their clans by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names from 20 years old and upward, everyone able to go to war. Those enrolled of the tribe of Asher were 41,500. The descendants of Naphtali, their lineage, and their clans by their ancestral houses, according to the number of names from 20 years old and upward, everyone able to go to war. Those enrolled of the tribe of Naphtali were 53,400. These are those who were enrolled, whom Moses and Aaron enrolled with the help of the leaders of Israel, 12 men, each representing his ancestral house. So the whole number of the Israelites by their ancestral houses from 20 years old and upward, everyone able to go to war in Israel, their whole number was 603 thousand five hundred fifty the levites however were not numbered in their ancestral tribe along with them our father in heaven said to moses only the tribe of levi you shall not enroll and you shall not take a census of them with the other israelites rather you shall appoint the levites over the tabernacle of the covenant and over all its equipment and over all that belongs to it they are to carry the tabernacle and all its equipment and they shall tend it and shall camp around the tabernacle when the tabernacle is to set out the levites shall take it down and when the tabernacle is to be pitched the levites shall set it up and any outsider who comes near shall be put to death the other israelites shall camp in their respective regimental camps by companies but the levites shall camp around the tabernacle of the covenant that there may be no wrath on the congregation of the israelites and the Levites shall perform the guard duty of the tabernacle of the covenant. The Israelites did so. They did just as our father in heaven commanded Moses. Chapter two, our father in heaven spoke to Moses and Aaron saying, the Israelites shall camp in each respective regiments under ensigns by their ancestral houses. They shall camp facing the tent of meeting on every side. Those to camp on the east side toward the sunrise shall be of the regimental encampment of Judah by companies. The leader of the people of Judah shall be Nashon, son of Amminadab, with a company as enrolled of 74,600. Those to camp next to him shall be the tribe of Issachar. The leader of the Issacharites shall be Nathanel, son of Zuar, with a company as enrolled of 54,400. Then the tribe of Zebulun, the leader of the Zebulunites, shall be Eliab, son of Helon, with a company as enrolled of 57,400. The total enrollment of the camp of Judah by companies is 186,400. They shall set out first on the march. On the south side shall be the regimental encampment of Reuben by companies. The leader of the Reubenites shall be Elizer, son of Shedur, with a company as enrolled of 46,500. And those to camp next to him shall be the tribe of Simeon. The leader of the Simeonites shall be Shalumiel, son of Zerushadai, with a company as enrolled of 59,300. Then the tribe of God. The leader of the Godites shall be Eliasav, son of Reuel, with the company as enrolled of 45,650. The total enrollment of the camp of Reuben by companies is 151,450. They shall set out second. The tent of meeting with the camp of the Levites shall set out in the center of the camps. They shall set out just as they camp, each in position by their regiments. On the west side shall be the regimental encampment of Ephraim by companies. The leader of 
Ephraim shall be Elishama, son of Amihud, with a company as enrolled of 40,500. Next to him shall be the tribe of Manasseh. The leader of the, of the people of Manasseh shall be Gamaliel, son of Pedezer, with a company as enrolled of 32,200. Then the tribe of Benjamin, the leader of the Benjamites, Benjaminites, shall be Abidan, son of Gideonai, with a company as enrolled of 35,400. The total enrollment of the camp of Ephraim by companies is 180,100. They shall set out third on the march. On the north side shall be the regimental encampment of Don by companies. The leader of the Donites shall be ah Ahizer, son of Amishadai, with a company as enrolled of 62,700. Those to camp next to him shall be the tribe of Asher. The leader of the Asherites shall be Pagio, son of Akron, with a company as enrolled of 41,500. Then the tribe of Naphtali, the leader of the Naphtalites shall be Ahira, son of Enon, with a company as enrolled of 53,400. The total enrollment of the camp of Don is 157,600. They shall set out at last by companies. This was the enrollment of the Israelites by their ancestral houses. The total encampment in the camps by their companies was 603,550. Just as our Father in heaven had commanded Moses, the Levites were not enrolled among the other Israelites. The Israelites did just as our Father in heaven had commanded Moses. They camped by regiments and they set out the same way everyone by clans according to ancestral houses. Chapter 3 This is the lineage of Aaron and Moses at the time when our Father in heaven spoke with Moses on Mount Sinai. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, Nadab, the firstborn, and Abihu, Eleazar, and Ithamar. These are the names of the sons of Aaron, the anointed priests, when he, ordained, when he ordained to minister, whom he ordained to minister as priest. Nadab and Abihu died before our Father in heaven when they offered illicit fire before our Father in the wilderness of Sinai, and they had no children. Eleazar and Ithamar served as priests in the lifetime of their father Aaron. Then our Father in heaven spoke to Moses, saying, Bring the tribe of Levi near, and set them before Aaron the priest, so that they may assist him. They shall perform duties for him and for the whole congregation in front of the tent of meeting, doing service at the tabernacle. They shall be in charge of all the furnishings of the tent of meeting and attend to the duties for the Israelites as they do service at the tabernacle. You shall give the Levites to Aaron and his descendants. They are unreservedly given to him for, from among the Israelites, but you shall make a register of Aaron and his descendants. It is they who shall attend to the priesthood, and any outsider who comes near shall be put to death. Then our Father in heaven spoke to Moses, saying, I hereby accept the Levites from among the Israelites as substitutes for all the firstborn that open the womb among the Israelites. The Levites shall be mine, for all the firstborn are mine. When I killed all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, I consecrated for my own all the firstborn of Israel, both human and and animal. They shall be mine. I am your Father in heaven. Then our Father in heaven spoke to Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, saying, Enroll the Levites by ancestral houses and by clans. You shall enroll every male from a month old and upward. So Moses enrolled them according to the word of our Father in heaven, as he was commanded. The following were the sons of Levi by their names, Gershon, Kohath, and Merari. These are the names of the sons of Gershon by their clans, Libni and Shimei, the sons of Kohath by their clans, Amram, Ishar, Hebron, and Uziel, the sons of Merari by their clans, Mahli and Mushi. These are the clans of the Levites by their ancestral houses. To Gershon belonged the clan of the Libnites and the clan of the Shimeites. These were the clans of the Gershonites. 
their enrollment, counting all the males from a month old and upward, was 7,500. The clans of the Gershonites were to camp behind the tabernacle on the west with Eliasa, Eliasaph, son of Lael, as head of the ancestral house of the Gershonites. The responsibility of the sons of Gershon in the tent of meeting was to be the tabernacle, the tent with its covering, the screen for the entrance of the tent of meeting, the hangings of the court, the screen for the entrance of the court that is around the tabernacle and the altar and its cords, all the service pertaining to these. To Kohath belonged the clan of the Amra, Amramites, the clan of the Isharites, the clan of the Hebronites, and the clan of the Uzielites. These are the clans of the Kohathites. Counting all the males from a month old and upward, there were 8,600 attending to the duties of the sanctuary. The clans of the Kohathites were to camp on the south side of the tabernacle with Elisaphon, son of Uziel, as head of the ancestral house of the clans of the Kohathites. Their responsibility was to be the ark the table, the lampstand, the altars, the vessels of the sanctuary with which the priest minister, and the screen, all the service pertaining to these. Eleazar, son of Aaron the priest, was to be chief over the leaders of the Levites and to have oversight of those who had charge of the sanctuary. To Merari belonged the clan of the Mothlites and the clan of the Mushites. These are the clans of Merari. Their enrollment, counting all the males from a month old and upward, was 6,200. The head of the ancestral house of the clans of Merari was Zuriel, son of Abihel. They were to camp on the north side of the tabernacle. The responsibility assigned to the sons of Merari was to be the frames of the tabernacle, the bars, the pillars, the bases, and all their accessories all the service pertaining to these. Also the pillars of the court all around with their bases and pegs and cords. Those who were to camp in front of the tabernacle on the east, in front of the tent of meeting toward the east were Moses and Aaron and Aaron's sons having charge of the rites within the sanctuary. Whatever had to be done for the Israelites and any outsider who came near was to be put to death. The total enrollment of the Levites, whom Moses and Aaron enrolled at the commandment of our father by their clans, all the males from a month old and upward, was 22,000. Then our father in heaven said to Moses, Enroll all the firstborn males of the Israelites from a month old and upward, and count their names, but you shall accept the Levites for me. I am your father in heaven as substitutes for all the firstborn among the Israelites, and the livestock of the Levites as substitutes for all the firstborn among the livestock of the Israelites. So Moses enrolled all the firstborn among the Israelites, as our Father in heaven commanded him. The total enrollment, all the firstborn males from a month old and upward, counting the number of names, was 22,273. Then our Father in heaven spoke to Moses, saying, Accept the Levites as substitutes for all the firstborn among the Israelites, and the livestock of the Levites as substitutes for their livestock. And the Levites shall be mine. I am your Father in heaven. As the price of redemption of the 273 of the firstborn of the Israelites, over and above the number of the Levites, you shall accept five shekels apiece, reckoning by the shekel of the sanctuary, a shekel of 20 garas. Give to Aaron and his sons the money by which the excess number of them is redeemed. So Moses took the redemption money from those who were over and above those redeemed by the Levites. From the firstborn of the Israelites, he took the money, 1,365 shekels, reckoned by the shekel of the sanctuary and Moses gave the redemption money to Aaron and his sons according to the word of our father in heaven 
as our Father in heaven had commanded Moses. Father willing, we will continue with Numbers chapter 4. May our Father, Messiah, and the Holy Spirit be with us. Repent, the kingdom of heaven is near. Peace.